What does jailbreaking an iPhone mean? Jailbreaking means users are freed from the jail of an iPhone's restrictions. Wait, what restrictions? Restrictions that are designed to protect the phone and your personal information. An iPhone's closed iOS is the key. Apps aren't connected to one another, making it difficult for a virus to spread. Apple doesn't allow iPhones to run apps that weren't checked by them for safety. It's why you're only supposed to download apps from the App Store, which has strict standards in place to eliminate apps with malware. But sometimes users want to customize their phones or install apps from other sources. This requires obtaining root access to the operating system or jailbreaking. However, jailbreaking is dangerous. If you're considering it, think again. Thanks to Apple allowing apps greater access to the operating system for customization, jailbreaking has declined in popularity. Apple implements fixes to the hardware and software that jailbreaking normally exploits. This means that many versions of iOS can't be jailbroken easily. But if your iPhone is already jailbroken, let's look at the risks associated with it and what you can do to fix it. Jailbreaking voids your phone's warranty. That means, if it's ever damaged or malfunctions, you may not be able to get it repaired. Automatic updates are no longer available, leaving you vulnerable to security issues. Jailbreaking may brick your phone. That means it won't boot, respond to input, or make calls. Downloading Apple-supported software updates may even render the phone inoperable. Non-Apple-approved apps may quickly drain the battery, and we all know how annoying that is. Jailbreaking causes loss of access to content and services such as iCloud, iMessage, FaceTime, and Apple Pay, and sometimes third-party apps. A jailbroken iPhone is more likely to crash, freeze, or lose data. This is due to bugs in apps downloaded from the independent stores. Unreliable voice and data connections are another result of jailbreaking, so expect dropped calls, slow connections, and inaccurate location data. Apps that haven't gone through Apple's strict vetting process are more likely to contain malware. If malware is installed on a jailbroken iPhone, it can gain complete access to all data on the device because jailbreaking connects the apps. That data includes bank account information, passwords, and other sensitive details. You've learned the risks, but maybe you've learned the hard way, and your phone is already jailbroken. How do you fix it? The good news is there's a restore button for that. But first, back up your iPhone on your computer and the cloud. Connect your iPhone to Wi-Fi. Go to Settings, tap on your name, and choose iCloud. Tap on iCloud Backup. Make sure the toggle is on. Then click on Backup Now. Once your files are backed up, connect your iPhone to your Mac. Launch iTunes on your computer. Unlock your device and turn off Find My iPhone. Go to Settings, tap on your name, and choose Find My iPhone. Make sure the toggle is off by entering your Apple ID and password. In iTunes on your computer, select your iDevice when it appears. In the Summary panel, click on the Restore button. During the procedure, your device will restart. You will be asked if you want to restore from a backup. You can select the iCloud option if you want to restore it from the file that you created earlier. There is no need to manually delete jailbreak apps because restoring the iPhone to its factory settings deletes them for you. If you're unable to restore a jailbroken iPhone, use the recovery mode to erase the device. It's a drastic measure, but may be your only choice. Jailbreaking isn't worth the enhanced control you want over your iPhone. It leaves you susceptible to viruses and other malware. It increases the risk of hackers stealing your personal information, and it limits your phone's usefulness. Protect your iPhone and your peace of mind.